hey what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back today we're gonna run through the tower i got a little strat on this current tower right now so if you guys want to see how to get through this easy peasy come along for the ride i'm gonna show you exactly what to do what weapons to use what enchants to put on and you guys are gonna be running through this without any issue without any problems you're gonna be getting yourself some nice 263 gear easy peasy we're on apocalypse right now apocalypse difficulty so the very first uh very first round super easy you don't really have to do anything i'm just gonna throw that away we don't need it what we're gonna do is just run around and kill these zombies and spiders and then we're gonna head on to round two round two on this one a little bit more difficult it's uh, actually one of the harder rounds super early. And only because you got a couple of those necromancers. They're spawning in all kinds of zombies and skeletons at you. So that's all that we got to do is just go take those guys out. But that's going to be our first thing we're going to put on. So we're going to get through here, beat up these spiders and zombies, and now let's get going. Oh, where's the last guy? There's always one hiding somewhere. Come here. Where is he? There he is. Get out of here, you little spider. All right. Well, let's get through. We're going to go into arguably the harder of the uh, levels here. So we're going to take this one right here, the double X. We're going to put that on. We're going to equip right away. We're going to equip on smiting because that's going to help us take out these uh, necromancers real quick. Maybe we just toss this over here. All right, let's get right in on this guy. Try and take him out as quick as we can. There we go. We got one. One down. If you have the opportunity, always go for that ghost. Because he's always going to try and roast you. Just like that. There we go. Let's get out of here. So now if you're injured in this, the best thing to do is go all the way up here. Just hang out right up at the top here until your health comes back. That's what we're going to be doing. If the ghost chases you up, you just go over and beat him up. He ain't got nothing for you. He don't got nothing for you. That's what we're going to do. Now we're just going to wait for our health to come back. And then we'll go down and take out the rest of the mobs and get through this round. Floor number two is it's probably one of the more difficult ones. Especially if you don't uh, have smiting on. All right. So let's head back down here. We've got some health almost ready. There we go. Let's grab this up. Get rid of those. Easy peasy. Just got to avoid the arrows a little bit. Don't let them all hit you. Try to avoid these spiders. So you don't get stuck in place. All right. Let's go. Round two completed. We're going to head on to round number three. Okay, so this one, we're going to take this right here, champion's armor. And what we're going to do is as soon as we get in here, we're going to equip snowball. Snowball is one of the most important things you're going to use in uh, this tower. It'll allow you to uh, knock out the uh, creepers and stuff that are coming at you. And uh, it'll save your butt. It'll save your butt. And it is one of the most important things. When you're on the harder level, I think it's around 24. You're gonna um, you're gonna run into a whole bunch of the uh, king's guards, and uh, those guys are the big guys with the shields. And they hit uh, they hit super hard, and they can hit you from far away. So the best thing to have is snowball, because you actually stun them and they stand still. But uh, We'll get there when we get there. So here we go. Round three completed. Super easy. Easy peasy. We're not going to take anything from this. We're not going to take anything from this. We're just going to do an enchant point. We're going to use our other enchant point here. We're going to go with some more snowball. And then see this guy right here. That's what we need it for. We're going to knock him out. Knock him out. And then get the hits on him. There we go, we got rid of them. 
I'll eat up. Get some of the little apples. There we go. Easy, easy. These guys got nothing for us. They're all getting knocked out by the snowball. Let's go. Round four completed. We're going to head on in to floor number five. This one, once again, we're going to take nothing. We're going to take an enchant point. And what we're going to do on this one, we're going to put our snowball all the way up to number three. That way this thing fires quite often. And uh, it's going to stop pretty much everything that's coming at you. Right there, creeper can't hit you. Creeper can't hit you. Spider. Bam. If the creepers are knocked out by the snowball, they actually can't. Uh oh. <clears throat> I almost blew myself up there. <laughs> if the creepers are knocked out, they can't actually explode. So if they are knocked out, you can run right up to them and kill them without uh, without getting blown up. Which is the the big advantage of having snowball. I am. Is there one more back here somewhere? There's always one that spawns way far back. Get him. There we go. Now that is floor, floor number five completed. Easy peasy. Let's get. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. All right. So. This one, once again, we're just going to take an enchant point. We don't need to get any of that. Bam. Now this one, you got to be careful. You just got to stay back. Stay back a little bit. Just inch yourself forward. There's a lot of creepers on this one. So what you want to do is kind of try and bait them if you can. They're going to blow each other up. Right there, we can kill this guy. He's knocked out. But yeah, if they're coming at you, you can bait them a little bit. And they'll blow each other up. Bam. Your snowball will knock him out, though. Right there, easy. Knocking them all out. Floor number six completed. That one, you just gotta take your time. You just gotta take your time on that one. Easy. Let's go. Let's start up floor number seven. This one, what we wanna take here is the power shaker. Power shaker is uh, super helpful, especially for the boss that's coming up. Now, what we want to do is use our enchant points here. We're going to put on some more smiting. All right? There we go. Gives us a little bit more damage on the axe. You're going to want to use your power shaker to take out these creepers. Because you can one-shot them. Bam. Gone. No problem. We got a round... Around us some silverfish, no problem there. We got our power shaker back. We're gonna hit this once again. Take out these creepers. Bam, one shot, easy. And we just got one round left. We got our power shaker back. Let's hit these creepers, get them out of here. Bam, let's go. Floor seven completed, easy. All right, so the next thing we're gonna buy right here is this plate armor. The plate armor is gonna go in here because it does have snowball and it has deflect. This is the armor we're gonna use for the whole rest of the, the whole rest of the time. So this is the only armor you're gonna need. We're gonna go straight up on snowball. We're gonna add a deflect on there as well. And now let's get in. Deflect is gonna come in super helpful when the later rounds. It's not so it's not such a big deal in these early rounds, but in the later rounds, snowball will definitely help. You can always use your power shaker for these big guys. You'll take them out super quick. Just like this. Boom. Get out of here. I like to use it on these guys. I like to use it for the geomancers, because I don't like those guys. So we'll just get rid of them. Just bam, get out of here, you know? They're always trying to spawn those those little towers, those little pillars around you. Let's go. Floor number eight completed. Easy, easy. Let's get it, let's get it. 
All right, so this one, we're going to take this uh, light feather. It's going to help us roll out of the way of the attacks of the boss. You really don't have to take this one. You could go for an enchant point, but you're not going to need the enchant points later. So we might as well take it. What we're going to do, we got a merchant floor on this one. And then we got the boss fight on the next one. This one, power smith. We're going to use a power smith on our double axe. That's going to give us a little bit more damage going into the boss fight here. Let's get it. Let's roll on in there. Now this boss, uh, the secret of this boss is just stay really close to him. Just keep going around to his back. Keep going around to his back. You can use the feather to roll around to the back. And when you got your power shaker, use your power shaker. So you got power shaker on. Bam. We're going to hit him. He's going to turn around, try and slam us. We're just going to roll around behind him. Every time, every time. That's all you're going to do. Just keep wailing away on him. Use your power shaker. When he uh, goes down for his big attack, like this one, what you're going to do is just wait for these cows to come in, then use your power shaker. Let them get around you, and then use your power shaker. Boom. You do all kinds of damage to him. Just keep rolling around behind him. And then use the power shaker. Bam. As long as you don't get too far away from him, you do not want to get away from this guy because he'll start shooting his uh, his like mushroom rockets or whatever he has. If you start shooting those at you, you can get into some big trouble. So what you want to do is just stay right in close with him. And it's super easy. Just use the feather to roll away. Roll behind him. There we go. Just keep whittling down his health. Got the power shaker back. Bam. All right, so we'll wait for these cows to come in. This should be enough to take them out here. There we go. It's like we're gonna need one more power shaker and we got him. There we go. Sit down, my friend, sit down. Get out of here, get out of here. All right, we're gonna move on to the boss fight. We're moving on through the boss fight, sorry. So now what we're gonna do is take these void touch blades. These things are pretty good. What we're gonna do is throw those on there. Now you're gonna put on a little bit of sharpness, some bees. We're gonna put on some guardian strike and maybe another sharpness. And some guardian strike. There we go. Guardian strike's gonna give you a little bit of shield after you beat somebody. So you're not gonna take any damage after you uh, after you kill something. Pretty helpful. Pretty helpful. These weapons are good because they they come with Void Strike. Which does a lot of damage. You always got your Shaker as well. You can always use it if you need it. If you want to kill one of those bigger guys super quickly, just use your, just use your Shaker. And run back around. It's probably a guy up here, yeah. There always is. There's always one straggler left behind. I don't know why they do that. It's always back there. It's always back there. Floor 11 completed. We're just going to fly on through. It's floor number 12. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So this one, we're going to use nothing here. We're going to take an enchant point. We're going to uh, put our enchant point on the busy bee here. There we go. Bees help. Bees take uh, take a lot of the heat off of you if you are in trouble. A little bee flying around. They do some work too. They put in some work. Bees are pretty beastly. 
you use a power shaker get rid of these guys these little pokey guys you gotta watch out for these guys just try and use your power shaker as much as you can if you get in trouble there we go all you have to do is hit one of them with it it'll do some work on them you got your bow as well all right let's eat up yeah. let's go over and take out this guy and we should be uh should be on through to the next floor there we go nice 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 so this one right here we're gonna take the enchanter's book we're gonna uh just throw it in the middle slot here Take out this, take out this ghost right away. All right, we do have a necromancer on this one once again. What we want to do is use your power shaker, get rid of him quickly as possible. And let's go get this one. Bam, take these guys out. Easy, easy. Power shaker coming in clutch there. We got a snowball still knocking all these guys out. Stopping them from shooting at you. Let's run around and go get them. All right, there should be one more guy around here somewhere. Where is he? Where is he? Come out, come out wherever you are. There he is. There, hold that. Hold that, my friend. Ouch. I bet that hurt. I bet that hurt. All right. Floor 13 completed. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Now, here's the one you want. You want the Iron Golem? We're going to swap it out for this Light Feather. Bam. We're going to bring in our boy, the Iron Golem. We're going to use this. Say hello to my little friend. Yes. The Iron Golem's going to take some heat off of you. Plus, he's a beast. He's an absolute beast. Look at him. Absolute specimen. Absolute specimen. Use this shaker. Get rid of these ghosts. And then we just got a couple of these little spitty guys they are gonna pop in at you. Don't let these guys hit you with their spit bubbles. If they do, they're all gonna teleport to you. So you just gotta make sure you avoid their uh, their little yellow pukes. Their little yellow pukes. All right, let's get it going. Floor 14, easy, easy. We're already here halfway through, halfway through. We're going to take absolutely nothing here. We're going to take another enchant point. And then uh, we're going to stick that uh, in some deflect. So we're going to go deflect there. And I think we got everything else too. So we're going to just wait. Get another enchant point later. And let's get it. Here we go. This round's no problem. This is another pretty easy round. Floor 15. You always got the iron golem. You get once uh once you get some big guys spawning in, you just uh, enchant this bad boy and look at him go. Look at him go. Yay. Just gonna keep moving through. Keep moving through. You got the power shaker as well. Alright, now let's head back. Get the stragglers. Because they're always back here. They're always back here. Always, always, always. Let's go. Come here, buddy. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Floor 15 completed. Easy. So no real problems yet. We're just going to keep going through. Keep plowing through these levels. 
All right, so nothing here. We're not going to take anything. We're going to take an enchant point. Like I said, now we're going to put on... We're going to put on uh, our last sharpness here. Now our weapons are doing as much damage as they possibly can. Just going to enchant this little fella right here. We're going to let him do some work. Gonna watch out for this guy. So he's not levitating you up in the air. Gotta avoid those, uh. Avoid the ice falling on your head. Alright, let's get it. Let's go. Watch out for the uh, wind so it doesn't blow you off of there. All right, I go back down here. Oh no, the guy must have fell off the map. He was around somewhere. All right. Floor 16 is completed. Now what we're going to take here, even though this love medallion is super, super, super tempting. And this was what tempted me and got me into so much trouble trying to do it before. So what you're going to do is take this obsidian claymore right here. This thing, you're going to swap it out. You're going to swap it out for your weapon right there. We're going to put on void strike. We're gonna go right up on Void Strike. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go with Guardian Strike, and we're gonna go Freezing on this. So we're gonna go Guardian Strike here, and we'll uh, we'll get this thing filled up. Now this thing's a little bit slower, so you do have to watch out for creepers, uh, creepers right here. But you can always use your golem. Let your golem go in and do the work on these guys. It does do enough damage so that you can one-shot a creeper. But it is a little bit slow, so if the creeper starts blowing up before uh, before it gets to you, you could be in trouble. You could get blown up. So just watch that. Try and let your golem do the work. Try and let your golem do the work. Creepers will blow up on the golem as well. And then you also got your snowball putting in work for you, knocking everybody out. Floor 17, easy, easy guys, easy. All right, so here's the next big one we're going to take is the Gong of Weakening. This thing right here is key, it is key for the rest of the boss fights in this. So you want to hold on to it, put it on there. We're going to go. Cruising on through floor 18 here. Floor 18 is easy peasy. Shouldn't have any issues with this. Regular zombies. I think you get some uh you get some skeletons in here, I think, but easy, easy level. Easy work. Can't throw away that TNT. You can keep the TNTs if you want, throw them out. But just for the purpose of running through this, I'm not gonna use them. Alright. Let's get it. Floor 18 completed. Easy. Now we're just gonna go in champ point here. We're gonna put uh, we're gonna put on uh, some more guardian strike here, and then uh, we're gonna keep going. We got a merchant floor, so on this floor right here, we got the unique smith. Unique smith. What we're gonna do is use it on our plate armor. Bam. 
That puts us up to a power level 99 on the plate armor. It gives us uh, we got a little bit of damage. We got damage negated and uh, damage reduction. It turns us a little bit more tanky and a little bit more tanky. So we're going to go through. We got the boss fight now. So this boss fight, very, very easy. All you got to do is stand here. As soon as they spawn in, you want to hit your weakness gong. So make sure they're spawned totally in, hit it, bam, and then go after the illusioner first. If you get the illusioner, bam, evoker is no problem. We got all this damage. We can even use our golem to come in there and finish it off. There it is, bam. Easy peasy, floor 20 completed. Boss, no problem, no problem at all. So we're gonna take nothing here. We don't need anything. We're gonna take an enchant point. Uh, what we're gonna do is keep going on here, freezing. And then uh, we need one more enchant point for the for the full freezing on this thing. This one. Just watch out for the creepers. Let your golem do the work. Let your golem do the work. Remember to use your enchanting uh, tome. Gollum will put in all kinds of work on this. Strength potion. Let's watch out. The creepers are pretty sneaky on this one. Reapers are pretty sneaky on this one. There we go. Let's get the golem up there. Yay! You do have the gong of weakness, so you can always use it. Clear everything out as well. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Floor 21. Done. Get up through and go through the door and move on to floor number 22. We're going to take nothing here. Absolutely nothing. We're going to take an enchant point. We're going to uh, put that into freezing and that will fill up all of our stuff. Oh, we got a little bit more deflect to go on. A little bit more deflect. See this one, the deflect right there helps. All these guys getting their arrows sent right back at their faces. Couldn't happen to nicer pigs. Get out of here. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Chop this guy up. Let's go. Where's this last guy? There's somebody around here. There he is. Mr. Brute, come here. Get out of here. All right, floor 22. Easy, easy, guys, easy. All right, once again, all this stuff looks super, super tempting, but don't. Don't take any of it. Don't take any of it. We're just going to go in, champ point. We're going to throw that uh, enchant point right into our deflect right here. Bam. That gives us everything full up. And this is all we need. This is all we need for this. All right, guys. This is the hard round, 23. This is the one that stumps most people. So what you want to do is just take your time. You want to call in your golem. Wait for your snowball to knock these guys out. And then get in and do some work. Watch out for the fire. The ghosts are quite a pain. But your snowball should keep these guys at bay. And you just gotta take your time, get in here. Bam. Let's let uh let the golem go over there, take out that uh ghost. And there we go. 
Once you get past those sort of king's guards with the, the big guys with the shields, you're pretty set. You're pretty set. This guy, go after the uh, enchanter. Don't worry about that guy. He'll be a lot easier to kill once the enchanter's gone. Boom, boom, boom. Get out of here. And this is by far the hardest round on this whole... on this whole tower. So once you get through 23, easy peasy. Everything else should just fall in line. We're not gonna take anything. We don't need nothing. We're just gonna keep doing enchant points for the rest of it. Let's just clear it up. Bam. Let's take that. Get rid of these guys. Let's call in our boy. Let's watch out for those. Don't let those icebergs drop on your head. They'll knock you out. Bam, let's go get this guy. Take out these guys. There we go, super easy once again. Let's get this little levitate guy. 24 completed. We're just flying through this. We're just flying through this. We're gonna take nothing. We're just gonna keep going enchant points all the way for the rest of the whole thing. Let's go. Once again, you'll be happy I have deflect on in this one. Let's go take these guys out. Bam. Let's go. This Claymore is a little bit slow, but it is, uh, it is mighty powerful. It is mighty powerful. One of the biggest mistakes that people make on this one, and the same mistake that I made quite often, was getting rid of the armor with Snowball. Snowball is is absolutely key for round 23. There we go. We're going to take nothing. We don't need anything. Absolutely nothing we don't need. We got everything we need. Floor 26. Just going to fly through this. Once again, Snowball coming in clutch. Knocks out the creepers. Bam. Can't hit you. Knocks them out. Snowball is one of the best things to have in these towers. Now this part, you just let your, uh, let your, let your golem do the work. The golem can take some hits for you. If your golem does run out, you always got your weakness, your gong a weakness. If they get in close, you just uh, hit your gong and then hit them one time, they'll be dead. No problem. All right, we got some creepers over here, just like this. Bam, gone. Take out this ghost. All right. There's still a guy somewhere. That straggler way back at the back again. Look at our golem with fire trail. Bam. We got another guy over here. Get him. Get him. There we go. 26 complete. Easy. Not even a scratch. Not even a scratch. Let's go. Floor 26 cleared. So this one, I mean, we don't need anything, but you can take this saber wing because it's a saber wing. Just take it. Just take it. <laughs> all right. We got uh, all these enchant points to kill because we got nothing to add here. So just add them on, whatever you want. Whatever you feel like, I'll go void strike. 
Why not? Put them on. Let's use up those enchant points. There we go. Floor 27. Get our little iron golem buddy over here. <laughs> Take out these little babies. Get out of here, little babies. This thing has quite a long range on this claymore. You can actually hit guys from quite a bit away. Especially on the uh, on the combo, like the second swing the big overhead swing that you get. So it makes it really good for uh, round 23. All right. I think there's probably somebody spawned down here somewhere. No, I think we're going up. We're going up. Oh, they're over here. I found them. I found them. Get over here. All right, there we go. 27 complete. This tower is not too bad to get through. I think everybody should be able to get through it using this strat. It's uh, super easy to do, super easy to do. And uh, we'll keep proving that. We're going to go with uh, nothing. We're going to take an enchant point. Maybe we'll throw on... Uh, maybe let's throw on uh, some chain reaction, maybe. And maybe some uh, few shot. Let's do this. Let's do this. There we go. Got a little bit on our bow in case you get into trouble here. This one, just let your, let your iron golem do the work. Hopefully it can take some of the uh, creeper explosions from you. If you need, just sit back with your saber wing. It'll take out these, uh, take out these guys no problem. Bam. If you run around these guys, if the um, if the icebergs are about to drop on your head, you can always run under a tree, and they'll hit the tree, and then you don't have to uh, you don't have to worry about getting knocked out by that thing. So that's a good uh, good tip. If you see those icebergs, you always run for cover under a tree, and it'll blow up up above you. You don't have to worry about it. But there we go. Easy. Floor 28 completed. Now we got a merchant floor. So we're just gonna uh we're just gonna take a enchant point once again. I mean you can throw it on something on your bow if you want. You really don't need to, but uh if you do want to, you can. So we'll throw a we'll do another chain reaction. Cause why not? Cause why not? We got the guildsmith. So we're gonna guild something here. We're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with our obsidian claymore. Let's guild this thing up. What do we get on it? We got blinds and chains enemies, or binds and chains. Sorry, not blinds. Binds and chains. I can't read. <laughs> so we got the final boss here. This is uh, two illusioners. Two illusioners. So what we want to do is almost exactly the same as the last one. We're going to wait for these guys to spawn in. We're going to hit our gong of weakness. And then we're going to wail away on these guys. There we go. GG's. Get out of here. No problem. And there we go. That's how you beat this week's tower. Easy peasy, guys. You guys should be able to get through this first try every time with uh, with this strat, and then you'll get yourself some brand new, lovely 263 power level gear. Easy, easy, easy. Thanks guys for hanging out. Guys, I do stream every single day over on Twitch. You guys can find me twitch.tv wormy z if you guys uh, if you guys want to uh, come and check it out. 
So anyway, guys, have a great night. Thanks for hanging out with me here. And hopefully this helps you get some pretty awesome loot. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.